Yo, 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 what's going on, nation? Y'all see it, keep a bag of work, man. <laughs> some polos to do and i ain't never did no polos on here so i figured i'll make a quick video really i got a long day ahead of me bro i got a lot going on for real but i figured i could squeeze this in so let me get this started Hold on. so i got 10 polos i gotta do right quick for somebody which is a quick job i already done cut out the design it's front and back they want some of course like the polo left side they want a big design on the back basically these some security tees right so somebody referred me to uh the strip club in Atlanta called Magic City. If you're from Atlanta or you in Atlanta, you already know about Magic City, man. Magic City Mondays. So, you know me, I'm like, I ain't turning it down. And I turned my phone lines back on. So I'm taking orders via the phone now again, not just email, chat, and uh, Instagram and all of that. So, hey, the first call I got was somebody saying they was referred to me and I got quick turnaround times and I do good business. So, hey, you know me, I'm like, all right, babe, let's get it. Got 10 black polos, all extra large, front and back. And these basically gonna be security shirts. So I'm, I'm the one, if you go to Magic City and you see them boys rocking their polos when you go in there after this video. And that just mean, you know, I'm in the strip club too. That's the hard part about it. Like I don't even go to strip clubs, bro. I don't even like strip clubs at all. But I'm in the building, you know what I mean? The work in the building, that's more important. So you don't gotta be in the building to be in the building, you know what I mean? I just had to drop that off. We're gonna jump right into it. I really wanted to show y'all how I do it because it's front and back. Now, if it was regular front, I probably wouldn't even show y'all. But since it's front and back, I gotta show y'all because y'all know what I gotta use. If you saw my last video, you already know what I'm using. Padded pillows, man. Them padded pillows come in handy every time. So we're gonna jump right into it, man. Like I said, big security logo on the back. This is what it is, you know what I mean? This is a 15 inch logo for these XL. And then I got the Magic City logo that she sent me. Of course, Magic City, Magic City, Magic City Monday, man. We in the strip club now. Now, I ain't got to go to the strip club. I'm in the building, like I said. But let's jump right into it. I just want to make a quick video about it. Let y'all see how I do mine. Front to back, start to finish, a polo design. And this regular vinyl, if it was me, I probably would have went puff. But they ain't trying to do all that. It's a work shirt. So, yeah, let me go ahead and pull out my pad of pillows. We're going to get right to it. And then also, like I said, I already got the vinyl. So, all right, then cut everything out. There's both sheets, 10 securities, and then 10 logos. It probably took me about, let me see. This was about a yard of vinyl, so it wasn't that much. But yeah, let me go on and show y'all what's up. So I didn't weed them out yet. I fell asleep last night when I finished cutting them out. I was going to record this last night, but I ended up falling asleep. I was tired. I ain't going to even care. I was tired of here after watching the uh, live stream with my mentors and then going out driving all day. Then I had a same day print order. And I'm going to show y'all that too. I should have did that video first, but I got to show y'all that, man. Because I normally don't even do same-day printing. And people know that, like, I don't do same-day printing at all. But I'm taking a new approach on everything. So now, if it makes sense, I'll do it. But it ain't going to be something that I'm just promoting or pushing. But I, I'll do it if it makes sense. So, yeah. Y'all already know the easiest thing to weed out is regular vinyl. This don't take no time. Easy job right here. Easy job. Easy job. Well, it's easy to me, of course, to somebody that never probably did it before. They might look at this like, man, it ain't easy. <laughs> but yeah, definitely got to show y'all that other one because that one was a, a, a major, I ain't gonna say it was a headache, but it was just one of those ones where it was same day print. And then the person that was getting the printed, she just kept changing stuff and switching stuff up. Time was ticking and they was getting ready to catch a flight. So, you know, it was one of those, but if you servicing the people, you got to come through for the people, man. She'll never forget that. Like, if she ever back back in Atlanta, I don't know if they was from here or they was just in town for, like, a visit. But I say today, it was her sister's birthday. I got everything done for her. And, yeah, it worked out. So, she tipped me and everything. <laughs> That's the dope part about it. And I don't always get tips, so I definitely appreciate that. Like, extra $40, $50. So, I'll make a video about that next. It probably won't be too long. But I just want to show y'all in that video how it started. Like, how... I brought her vision to life because I never really showed y'all what people be sending me and how crazy some of this stuff be and how it looked before it become what it actually is. So that's five security. Y'all see it. Big jumbo, big jumbo. I'll do one more. One more. I actually cut an extra one by mistake, but yeah. This is the easy part, man. Weed it out. Y'all already know if you you're doing anything with t-shirt vine, you already know about this part. A lot of people don't like it. But me personally, I like the weeding process. I like the entire process because I love what I do, so I don't be tripping. And let's 
get it. Let's get it. Come on, come on, come on. Bit. So I got all that weeded out as y'all can see. 10 security logos or uh, whatever you want to call it for the back of the uh, polos. That's the back. And then this right here gonna be the front. Turn it upside the right way so y'all can read it. So Magic City Strip Club in Atlanta, man. If you ever go, y'all see them security guards in that rock and guess what? Your boy did them, you know what I mean? Referral. Like I always tell people, referral is the best promo. You don't, you don't get better promo than referral. You don't get better promo than referral. And I'll talk about that in another video. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and press these. I just wanted to make a quick video to show y'all how I be rocking. And then, cause also someone told me I should start making more videos of the work that I do for my customers. Like they know that I do way more stuff cause they follow me on Instagram and they get to see all the uh, actual different print jobs. So yeah, we're gonna jump right into it, man. Like y'all see, I still got pants from uh, a restock or whatever from that last video. He got some more done. That. I got 500, I got a case of cups up on here. I gotta do, they got a design to them right here. Working on that right now, you know what I mean? And I already got hella uh, an image to print. I gotta trim them, look at that pile. I'm just showing y'all how I really be working, bro. It be going down in here. Like, I ain't I ain't bullshitting at all around here no more. I'm on the head. Then y'all also see what I got in here, books. You know what I mean? Notebooks, all that. Like, it take a lot, you know what I mean? Honey bun, nah, I'm just like, hey, ain't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> All right, let's jump into these polos, man. <laughs> the heat press already warmed up. Let's go. Okay, cool, y'all. So it's gonna be something so simple. It ain't even hard at all. Like, it ain't hard at all. I mean, you know, this is a simple job, but a lot of people don't know about padded pillows. So I'm trying to push it in y'all face so y'all can realize how important they are. And also, you know, a lot of people don't really do polos like that. And only reason I'm using padded pillow because of the buttons. Like, you don't wanna, you can't really press the back. Now, if you didn't have to do the back of these, like I said originally, then you won't need no padded pillow. But you do got to do the back, then, you know, you're going to want that padded pillow because of them two buttons in the front or any shirt. Like, if this was a uh, collar shirt, they got the buttons all the way down the middle, you're going to definitely want it too. Yeah, we're going to trim these Magic City logos. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to do one real quick. I should have did a little timer, see how fast I can press them. <laughs> okay, cool. We got one right here. What that? Oh, okay, we got one right here. And I got the security. So, front logo, back logo. Let me grab my padded pillow. Matter of fact, move this out of my way. Okay, cool. Look at all these padded pillows, man. I don't throw nothing away either. I keep all my stuff. Look at that. 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 They come in handy. So it's an XLT. So you're gonna want this jumbo one. This is the one that make me do real good with 2X, 3X, extra large, and all that. The rest is for like regular size tees. For the most part, we good to go. So matter of fact, let me do the back first. Flip this on the back, like that there. Fold the collar down. Take this, let me see how big it is. Let me make sure this is big enough. Perfect, perfect size, see what I'm saying? Look at that, padded pillow. Perfect size is the 15 inch word, so you ain't gonna go wrong if you got this one. And if y'all need the link, it will be in the description. You already know that. Magic City Mondays, even though it's Tuesday now. We're gonna slide it on up in there like this. Come on, get up in there, get up in there, get up in there. <laughs> get on up in there. Slide that in the shirt, you know what I'm saying? And if you know me, man, you know I keep a snack bag too. I ain't gonna lie, I just had to show y'all what's hanging right here because it's all in my way. <laughs> now, got that good, good to go. I'm gonna push it close to the center. And as far as this go, why am I? Oh, this is extra small. I'm tripping. All right, man. Got that in the center. Put this on the back. I need to bring y'all closer. But I mean, for the most part, y'all know. But some people probably don't really know about placements either. So, me, I can eyeball this because I done did 
So many is easy, but you don't want it too high up. So I try to put it more like a little lower. Let me drop it down so I can show y'all my placement too. And I use my fingers, my two fingers to uh, put it in the exact spot I need to be in. So I can make sure. You gotta remember though, I'm a pro at this now, at this point. Like this is easy to me. So if you need a ruler or a T ruler or something, definitely use that. But me, I can do this. It's nothing. All right, so y'all can see where the padded pillow is. Stop right there. Boom, but y'all see it's right on here where this is on top of that. So when I press it, I don't have to worry about them buttons in the front without the padded pillow. If I didn't have this padded pillow on it, it's up here by the buttons on the front, as y'all can see. So it'll kind of probably throw it off a bit because the vinyl won't be able to press flat and even. So that's the only reason I'm really using it and the only reason I want to show y'all. A lot of people don't get to see some of my videos. You may never even seen the video with the padded pillows from the original. So I'm showing y'all again. Got to keep putting y'all on game. So that's that, look at that. Look at that. Exact placement. Nothing is off. You know what I mean? So we're gonna go ahead and press that. And then I always press the back first because the front is the easy part. You wanna just go and get the back out of the way. But yeah, security shirts, polos. You pressing polos, get you some padded pillows. You're gonna need them, trust me. You gonna need them. It's a big shirt too. You definitely gonna need them for a big shirt. We're gonna go ahead and press these man and get it on out my way. And then I'm gonna run through the rest so I can get my day started and jump in my book. <laughs> oh, snap, my contractor. I don't need this up here. What I do, let me show y'all right quick. See, I got this folded. This is how I move it, where it don't move. So I do like this, fold the arms over, fold the bottom, whichever extra space I got, I fold it so I can move it without it worrying about it um, messing up or shifting or anything. Pull that like that. And since it's 15 inches, it's the exact same size as the press, so I can press it perfect. Yep, we good. Now, my pressure up too high, so you definitely gonna need to turn your pressure down for that padded pillow. But, man, thank God for whoever made these. They came in, man. They was a genius. They like, you know what? I got an idea. That can help people that press shirts. We gonna make something called a padded pillow. <laughs> That's fire, I ain't gonna lie. Every tool matters when it comes to printing, I'm telling you. Like, you never know when you are gonna need it. It'd be the randomest time, you be like, dang, I ain't even really gonna need this, bro. I'm gonna have to slide it over just a little bit. Just a little bit. Catch them edges. What we're gonna do, gonna pull it over a little bit, because it is the exact size of the press. You don't want, you don't want them coming off, because you one thing you know about shirts like this. When I do something like this, I'm already knowing they're gonna wear these over and over and over. They probably wash them a lot, so I wanna make sure it's down. That's one thing about me is never too much pressing. As long as you don't burn the garment or burn the material to the point where it's like in the garment and dark. But yeah, y'all, padded pillows. I can't stress it enough. Get you some. And like I said in the last video, I actually want to make my own because I got a better idea of how to turn them up and make them a little better. But overall, that's that. Let's take this on off from up here. Look good to me. Drop that up out of there. Security, security, there we go. That's the back, that's the main part. Now you don't need this no more, the padded pillow for the front. You can press the padded, uh, you can press the front regular, but I just wanted to show y'all that right quick. So that's that, that's one. And now I just gotta go down here, put the front on, and then, you know, we good. All right, here we go. Put this down here closer to the bottom. Mm -hmm. And like I said, my placement game is just immaculate. Not just because I've been doing this. I already know where I need to go. I done did this a thousand and thousand and thousands of times. So I don't have to question myself. But if you don't know how to do this, first thing first, I got this part from Big Brando. He always show you to align it with this seam right here or this hem or whatever you want to call this part right here. Uh, you align it right there. Center. That way you know it's align correctly in the right position and then as far as how far you want it up and down you know that's on you or the customer sometimes they may want it lower sometimes they may want it higher so before i do anything like this or 
any print, I always do this, take a picture and send it to the client. I don't press nothing until they confirm. Like I'm not just gonna go off of what I saw in the image and just start working, no. I'm pressing nothing until they let me know this is exactly how it's supposed to be. So I already sent her a picture of this front and back via email and she already confirmed that it's good. You know what I mean? The manager at the uh, club, so we good. But yeah, don't press nothing. If you asking me, don't press nothing until you confirm. You don't wanna waste no vinyl or no money or no time, especially no time. So we good to go. We're gonna press this and then we're gonna take them in the photo room. I just had to throw this up right quick and show y'all. Padded pillows are important. I ain't gonna keep stressing it. If y'all haven't got none, go on the link and get you some, but they under $20. And you get a pack, a bundle, and you get the T-Rulers. Go check out my last video to see what I'm talking about. The link will be in the description too. Now, I'm glad I looked. See what I'm saying? That's why you gotta check everything. Triple check, look at that. You can't really see it because of the reflection in here, but look at the C, the copyright logo. Man, why I won't focus? Either way, y'all see that C kind of where it ain't, it ain't in there, so I gotta fix that. But you know, overall, we ain't worried. I'm gonna fix it, but yeah. These jerseys polo that I got from Alpha Broda, for some reason, this camera will not focus. Let's get it, man. Y'all already know what it is. I don't do no plan. Y'all know this. Quick little run through. Magic City polos, like I said, y'all better get them padded pillows, man. Look how clean, let me show y'all. Let me get up close. Let me show y'all what it do. And also, the reason I put my Teflon sheet, cause this, the closest uh you're gonna get to again like a screen printed look. I wish y'all could see, but the white light ain't giving it no justice. But yeah, man. Y'all can see when you put a Teflon sheet on your uh on your heat press, it leaves like a little texture to some of the prints. It almost give it like a screen print vibe. But overall, man, Magic City tees, polo tees, security on the back, all press. It's only 10. And yeah, like I said, if you're gonna do the back, you're gonna need that pillow. Trust me, ain't no way around it. Because you don't want to have another reason I forgot to say, because you don't want to have the line from this. So, like, all of this is where the uh, polo button is, right? Matter of fact, look, you don't want this because if you don't press it with a pillow, it's going to show up on the back of the shirt and it's going to be like a heat burn right here. And you don't want that showing. So, that's another reason you want the padded pillow for real, for real. But also, just because you can't even press it on the back without the padded pillow, it ain't going to be flat. So, like I said, man, this was a referral order. Referral better than promo. Referrals are better than advertising. Referrals are better than all that. She already knew that I was going to do a good job. She knew it was going to be a quick turnaround because they already told her. And yeah, now I'm in the strip clubs. <laughs> it's my work. Somebody asked who printed them shirts. Get you know what they going to say. Heat wave creations. You know what I mean? So, Nation, if you need to do polos, order them padded pillows. Mainly if you need to do the back anyway. But if you don't need to do the back, then you probably won't need them. But I still say if you're in the heat pressing and t-shirts, Get you some anyway, because you're going to need them down the line eventually. Yeah, man, these came out great. It was a quick little order. Good little job. And yeah, on to the next project, man. I'm about to get on up out of here in a second. And we're going to jump into something new. If you subscribe to my channel, I appreciate you. And if you haven't subscribed, go in and hit that button. You know what I mean? Hit me up if y'all got any questions. And you know I'm going to answer it. I'm going to get very active too, so get ready. I'm out.